are you you well aware that we're doing the world magazines that's why I'm showing you all the magazines of our time and our history our times and our history have have we learned these are the times of our history we have all kinds of world magazines and but have we learned from our history based on just his time he lost his life to bring about change and to, for us to have a better day now as we look at our history and you know I'm gonna give you the picture of the wall in a little bit so everything can bounce back to you but let's take a close look at him for a minute Now, as we look at our history time to bounce off the wall have we learned from that time are we further ahead then as now is a question are we further ahead well of course if you look at the 60s, 60s and all the bad things that went on in the 60s uh, we'll say oh yeah we're ahead but how are we so much ahead if we still caught up with trillions and trillions and billions of dollars at the top still still and we're where we at today our, our events that we know of after 9-11 and and, 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 the, and the crashing of our economy and, and all the things that we know about are we ahead some people view that we are some people view that we're not are we ahead well if you look at your personal life you see personal gains but are we ahead are we ahead in the things that we're doing yeah 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 but every day when you listen to everyday talk of people it seems like we're ahead uh, uh, maybe uh, in a sense in time financially because we don't have those hardships but are we ahead in mind body soul and spirit uh, in daily conversation we hear different things I'm gonna speak on my conversation we had yesterday with my uh, I would say just he's like a son to me but he's got a cuss here him in Milwaukee Wisconsin his name is Philly Moe he does rap and music and everything he and he's a wise young man he talk about a lot of things but yesterday at the barbershop we had barbershop talk as y'all you all call it but we spoke of the uh, indifferences we talk, we we spoke of crabs in the bucket how people are still you know not happy with seeing other people succeed we talked about hurts and pains of losing your father mother sister grandmother grand parents and all that and we talked about everything that come to that and it seems like we're still going into this vicious circle we're talking about people living and dying and what's going on uh, 50 years from now we won't be here but long story short have we advanced from this time to our time have we advanced are we can we do things better could, could, could we have did things better then uh, could we have did more spiritual things than we did more uh, political things? Huh? Have we learned from there? I think we could have did more spiritual things. We'd be more spiritually ahead. Uh, right now, we still have people. We still hate each other. We, we don't have this great love, but we have love. But the majority of hate have destroyed us as a people from this time, from that time. We're not even going back 20,000 years in our history. We're not, we're not going through all our culturals and differences and saying who was first and who was last and we all came from eternity we came from God's mind heart body and soul and spirit our eternal God and then we was here but can we go forward from just that point and do better is it possible that we can do better I'm gonna keep giving you the picture of the wall so things can bounce off your mind are, are we are we going forward right now? Are we are we or are we in a vicious circle? Could it be thousands of years from now that th times will be better and we still in this vicious circle of hate? It, it seems that way. It seems like our generation of people a hundred years from now will be dead. Us in our thirties and our forties and our fifties, we won't even be here. And it seems like the vicious circle is going to continue. It's going to take a people that step into their mindset and say, okay, we have to make a difference. But based on our today. That, that change that we want, that, that love that we want that's inside of us will not happen. As I look back on a couple of days ago, I had an encounter with the shoeshine man here in Milwaukee and with my, uh, my adopted daughter here uh, in Milwaukee. Her name is Kay. She's a very spiritual person, but it seems like she's missing like history, learning of history. It's more about just 
going ahead and it's more about just uh, history and it's more than just spiritual. It's, 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 a, it's a one or two things. You have to work on your personal life. You can't just lean on one train of thought. You can't say, oh, I'm this spiritual high person, but you don't have no employment. Uh, you haven't took care of yourself in a whole lot of different areas in your life. Okay, it's more to life. You have to learn your history. You have to learn what's going on now. You have to press to your future. So therefore, it's natural and spirit. So I know there's a flaw right there in the spiritual world. That uh, as far as you just want to do a spiritual king, you want to be this great person, but you don't think your history matters, you, and you don't think your networking with people matters, and you, and you throw everybody under the bus that help you network with other people, maybe because of sex. You know, we're more sex people than anything. Sex rules our world like religion. So when you get to sex and religion and money, it's all mixed up, and we all get discombobulated. But right now, I'm trying to cut it real short, but I'm just giving you some spits real quick. Spits, spits, spits. That means segments of different things that happened, you know, in like the last three or four days or, you know, segments are just segments. We're just doing quick topics because I got to hurry up because I have to do a thousand other things right now. I have to get back to the barbershop and I guess we're going to do some video takes. We're going to give you guys some new YouTubes. So I have to go get on new gear. I have to do a whole lot of stuff, but I'm trying to give you all this quick spit. Because, you know, my mission is I work with all types of people from the homeless. You know, if you're going to be with the homeless, you got to be the homeless. you got to be stanky. you got to be raggedy. you got to be all messed up in order to reach them, which I was for a while, even on yesterday. Uh, but my brother's son checked me like, okay, go clean yourself up now so I can do the new level. So the new level we're going to do, we're going to do the videos. You're going to be aware of Hood Fellow Records, Entertainment, Swiss Money here in Milwaukee. We're going, to do, we're going to give y'all that segment. But let me speak on a great thing that happened today. I stayed in my homeless position, and I was able to heal some homeless people and some hurt people. Uh, one girl, she lost her grandfather today, and she was just all broke up like she was about to all lost. And among other issues, she had drug issues and, and you know, a lot of economic issues. But if I, would, if I went quickly to my other mode... I, I would have missed this healing today. So I was, I, I'm very grateful that she got healed today. Through, we don't have to constantly say God's using us and then we get in the glory. Because sometimes we get too spiritually minded. We know what's going on with natural and spirit. We don't have to keep repeating, oh God did this. And that, that's another thing my daughter kept on saying, oh God get the glory later for you. Go under the bus. Uh, he used you and that's being selfish and that's being narrow minded. And that's not even, you don't even know your history. And history of, of, of religion of God. You don't even know the history of none of that. He used to... Back in the day, it was Mama God, Father God, the God of the earth, God of the sun, God of the moon, God of minds. It's multitudes of God. You can't be selfish and just say, God, get the glory. And later for you, God did this. No, people are doing a multitude of things as we always look at our magazines. All these people are here. There's Jet. You know, Jet always do. All these people are living multitudes of different lives. You know, that's our girl, Alicia Keys. All these people are part, you know, that's, you know, that's number one in the world. You know who that is, Miss Oprah. But all these people are doing, has done different things. You know, that's our number one man from the 60s on up trying to make big change. But all these people are doing different things in the world. We cannot get stuck on the wall type of thinking and thinking that it's just spiritual. And that's where I fell out with my daughter. And a lot of other people, they, re they refuse to learn their history. History is very important. History, we failed to learn history, ancient history, and all that other history. But from here, can we go on as a people, as an individual? I can always go back to my wife in Alpharetta, which is a millionaire right now, and live a great life. I don't have to do none of this. But I, it's just something that in me to do what I'm doing. It's just in me. I would give it a spiritual up. I would say, God, get the glory and all that to the people that understand that. But I also would just address my character. I was always a people person. I always was a people person. So before I even learned the knowledge that I had, I was always who I am anyway, which is a people person. A lot of us are not people persons. We're not people. We, we, we go to deities. We go to God. We make deities out of other things instead of being a people person. But long story short, let us go forward with our thinking, forward in the things that we know, and be a better people. 
as we always say, get over your hurts, pain situation, your ups and downs and your lows, and rise to the top and be all you can be. And don't let nothing get you down and never give up, never quit. No matter how many times you failed or been hurt, no matter what went wrong, no matter what, keep going wrong in your life. Never give up on you. As some of my greatest people has always say, like Oprah, Michael Jordan, and all these great people we read today in the magazine, they always say, never give up on you. That's the word today. Never give up on you and be all you can be. For you, nobody else. This world is for you. For you to leave a legacy on your life. So leave your legacy today. This your boy out. Miracle Obama out. Be all you can be. It's all about you. This your boy out. Log on and support. PeopleTalking.com. Miracle Obama, your boy out. Be a better you. Yup.